I noticed that you put your ingredients into the mold with raw dough and then into the oven. I'm curious to see if it's cooked. I'm just praying to God. It looks raw to me. My heart is breaking. Andrew, please bring up your dish. I walk up with my dish. I'm very happy. That's a stunning plate. I made a veal roulade stuffed with chorizo, spinach, brie over a cauliflower puree with a balsamic and grape jelly reduction. I can taste the chorizo cut nicely into the sweetness of the grape jelly. You got the nice textures, spinach, brie, veal puree, dish and touch of smoothness to make it superb. I would say that's a very nice job. Thank you, Chef. Solid flavors. That chorizo comes through in a little smokiness. Grape jelly and balsamic sauce, smart. That acidity to it just balances it out. You move like a chef, you think like a chef, and you're cooking like a chef. <laughs> Thanks, Chef. Gloves are off. You better look out, guys. I'm a force to be reckoned with. Kristen, please bring up your dish. I'm feeling pretty good. My flavors are definitely there. I'm hoping the judges will notice that. Shredded chicken and chorizo taco with a grape jelly salsa. You taste definitely chorizo, tomatoes, the onion, garlic, but I'm finding it very difficult to find that grape jelly in that salsa. It's about getting the flavor of grape. And this challenge is about a couple. And somehow, that couple got separated. Please go back to your station. The darn grape jelly. Don, please bring up your dish. I pan seared salmon with pickled fennel, shallots, peppers, celery root, and fennel puree. You plate so beautifully. You seem disappointed. What's going on? I missed one key element. Please don't tell me it was the licorice, because that's... It was the sauce. There was licorice in the sauce. Wow. Yeah. Medium rare. That's perfection. You nailed the salmon. Unfortunately, though, it's not just about the salmon. There's still some licorice in the puree. The puree is textbook. It's smooth. It's velvety. Could use more licorice. Yeah, big time. It's such a shame. Please go back to your station. Cody, please bring up your dish. This is a s'more, toasted graham crust, chocolate pudding with pink peppercorn, candied bacon, and then it's topped off with a homemade marshmallow. How are you feeling about the way you were able to present this dish? My challenge was how to plate the chocolate portion of the dish. You think you may have bitten off more than you can do? 15 seconds more, chef, and I would have had it. The bacon, you've definitely candied it nicely, has a little firm sort of denseness to the bite. And then you get that big, rich, not overly sweet chocolate, creamy flavors. Delicious. It's the presentation that really let you down. Sabrina, please bring up your dish. Today is the day I have to show them I'm in this to win this. Deep fried chicken wing in a Mexican chocolate and bacon mole sauce. I cooked my mole down with some cinnamon sticks, cumin, jalapenos, and chili powder. I love Mexican cuisine. It's simple cuisine, but it's also very complex. And you chose one of the most difficult sauces to master. I went out of my comfort zone, like you had asked me to. Let's see if you pulled this off. But that mole sauce, that's very good, Sabrina. All these flavors and textures that you have going on in here are extraordinary. It indicates to me that you have a lot more to offer. Great job. Thank you, Chef. Please go back to your station. Michael, please bring up your dish. So I did a pan-seared salmon, 
spicy mayo, black licorice, slaw. I think the plating looks like it's a marked improvement for you, Michael. Thank you very much. You've got some brightness in color. Your proportions seem to be coming together. You've got a balance to the plate. Well, it looks like a nice cook on the salmon. You've got a wonderful uh, coloration on the skin, crisp. Light licorice glaze that you marinate your salmon in adds just a wonderful little sparkle to it. Thank you, Chef. The first thing to hit me with the slaw is its color and then the crunch, crisp freshness. And then I get that underlayer of licorice coming through. And that, combined with the salmon, would have me coming back for more. Delicious. It's as if the pennies dropped. Thank you, Chef. Thank you very much. That licorice and that salmon comes through like a star. And I love licorice. Textures, the freshness, everything came together in this dish. You got style, like me. But more important, you now have substance. Please go back to your stage. Tammy, please bring up your dish. These tarts look beautiful, but I'm just praying my pastry is cooked. I made chocolate-coated pecan, blueberry, and walnut bacon butter tart, and a raspberry garnish. I noticed that when you put your ingredients into the mold with raw dough and then into the oven, I'm curious to see if it's cooked. I'm just praying to God. It looks raw to me. My heart is breaking. Let's try it. That's chocolate, that bacon. Beautifully balanced. It's really, really good. Fortunately, it's in a raw tart. Let me tell you what I taste. Up front, I get a big blueberry hit. Tucked in right behind that, wonderful, smoky bacon. It almost creeps up on you. And then a wonderful layer of chocolate. A couple more minutes in the oven, and you would have nailed it. You think you're being a little hard on yourself? I'm not going to get any further if I'm not hard on myself. I want perfection. We learn from our mistakes. Mistakes are an important part of life. That's true. As long as we can understand where it is that we went wrong and move forward. I'm very much a perfectionist, and I like things to look good. So when they're not, I take it really hard. We've tasted all your dishes. Now we take a few moments to discuss. You know, given how tough this challenge was, I think they came through incredibly well. It's a good-looking dish, dude. This challenge was all about combining flavors. It was a great dish. This is going to be Never a tough decision you. for us to make. The theme of tonight's challenge was odd couples. You all had to combine seemingly mismatched ingredients to create a stunning dish that would win you a spot in the top 10. Now, for the two best dishes. The second best dish was made by Andrew. Your chorizo and grape jelly dish look as terrific as tasted. Yeah, I hear my name. It happened. I'm really happy that I got called. But the best dish of the night, Michael, congratulations. Your salmon and licorice dish was a triumph. This confident man is becoming even more confident by the day. I just want to twirl my mustache. So I'm so happy. <laughs> well done, Michael and Andrew. You will both be captains in the next team challenge. Now for the bad news. Unfortunately, some of you made some odd choices with your odd couple ingredients. And that's forcing us to send at least one of you home. The first cook we have to call up pushes themselves to take risks. But tonight, their faulty technique undermined their best efforts. Please step forward, Tammy. The second disappointing dish was made by a home cook who missed the MasterChef quality mark, Kristen. The third home cook failed 
to manage their time. John. One of you created a dish that was even weaker than the rest. Tammy, please step forward. Do you think you have more to show us in this competition? Absolutely. I'm a hard worker and I'm an even bigger learner. You know, the thing is, Tammy, we agree. Please go back to your station. I need to focus. I need to get better because I'm not a quitter. Kristen, your grape jelly was missing in action. We couldn't taste it. And John? While your salmon and lightly infused licorice puree was good, your licorice sauce didn't make it to the plate. To go home on a stupid error would just be so disheartening. I just need one more chance. John, we can only judge you on what you present. And because of what you presented, we have to send you back to your station. Kristen, I'm sorry. John may have forgotten his sauce, but your dish just wasn't strong enough to get you through. But we all beg you not to stop cooking. Please come on up and say goodbye. Great job. This whole experience has been life-changing. That dish was delicious. The most important thing I learned here is never give up. Kristen, just before you go, I want you to look out to this kitchen and tell me who will be the next MasterChef Canada. Without a doubt, Andrew. I know I'm an awesome home cook. I'm really proud of myself.